Welcome back to 504 Road Trips. Today, after six months, we're going to revisit the Bell Chase Bridge and Tunnel project uh, on Louisiana Highway 23. It's the bridge that goes over and the tunnel that goes under the Intracoastal Canal uh, between, pretty much between Jefferson Parish and Plaquemines Parish. And uh, they're in the process of building a high-rise bridge to replace the drawbridge and tunnel. Uh, we were last here in October, and there's been some significant progress made since then. Uh, we're heading down Highway 23 right now, southbound, and they're doing some work on this bridge over the outfall canal, uh, presumably because the approach to the bridge is going to fall somewhere near here. Uh, you can see the bridge in the distance up ahead and momentarily you're going to start seeing supports for the bridge. There's a number of cranes out there. As of right now the tunnel and the original bridge are still open and it's going to remain that way until they get at least part of the new bridge open at which point uh, and this is all according to an engineer that's working on the project. They're going to open the new bridge for southbound traffic, demolish the tunnel, and then they'll get the, uh, the new bridge open for both directions. And then they're going to get rid of the old drawbridge. So this is southbound through the Bell Chase Tunnel, which at some point in the near future will no longer exist. Here once again on the south side of the canal you can see more supports. And most of these weren't here the last time we drove through here. Now one thing I want to point out uh, in one case for this new high-rise bridge is when the bridge goes up to let marine traffic pass through traffic can really back up here and for some reason they had a truck blocking traffic from going onto the bridge rather than just the gates that usually come down when the bridge is, is lifting um, but this traffic extends almost all the way to Woodland Highway and I think that's a pretty regular thing I don't come down here all that much but I think it's a pretty regular occurrence where the bridge will go up and back traffic up this far. So I'm sure the residents of Plaquemines Parish that have to cross that canal will appreciate not having to wait every time the bridge goes up, which happens a lot. Now whether they'll be willing to pay a toll to, to cross that high-rise bridge, I'm not sure. They may take the General de Gaulle Bridge, which will be free. So now we're going to head back northbound. Now as you can see, the traffic has cleared because I drove around in Bell Chase for a half hour before I headed back because I didn't want to sit in all that traffic. But we'll get a good left lane vantage point of the new bridge. Or what's there so far. And you can see that the uh, the route of LA-23 is going to be offset from where the bridge is now, but it looks like it's pretty much going to go right over where the tunnel is. Now as we come down the bridge here, Approaching there's a traffic the signal traffic. at the corner of LA-23 and Engineers Road and on the right, Planners Canal Road. And 
Planners Canal Road has been completely disconnected from the highway. I'm not 100% sure how you would even get back to that neighborhood. There's only uh, two ways in and out. I guess it might have been on that little intersection right there. But I guess that's in anticipation of there being a bridge approach. Anyway, that's it. Uh, we'll have another update as construction progresses probably in a couple of months. Bye-bye.